Hello and welcome to our podcast, The Global Smart Cities. Today, our guest is Ricard Zabitero, CEO of Fera Barcelona International Transformation. Hello, Mr. Ricard. Hello, my pleasure to be here. The pleasure is mine. Mr. Ricard, as uh, we are here uh, in the forum of the Global Smart Cities, um, what do you think about uh, this forum? And if you give us like uh, a brief, uh, to simplify it for uh, those who doesn't know exactly what smart city is. Well, I, I thank you for having me here. Uh, first of all, uh, smart cities. Mm. What is a smart city? Mm. Smart city is easy to answer. It's a city that through the new technologies mm. tries to improve the life of their citizens. Mm. So see, uh, it's cities that are uh, working on mobility, working on urban planning, or working on waste management, working on sustainability through new technologies mm -hmm. and using those technologies to make our people's um, life much better. Mm -hmm. And uh, here at the Global Smart City Forum in Riyadh, uh, we are finding solutions, we are finding um, answers that the companies are offering to the cities, to the administrations, to make uh, projects, to make people's life much better. That's what smart cities are about. Good. So what, what are the important aspects uh, that we must consider uh, to realize the future of uh, smart cities? Well, we use this kind of events. One of our big events is Smart City Expo World Congress, which is happening every year in Barcelona. And we have partnerships in different parts of the world uh, for having this event organized, like we have in Riyadh mm. together with Sedaya. Yeah? And uh, this uh, event, what will be, what it's bringing is putting under the same roof companies and uh, experts mm. and administrations who are looking for new projects that can speak together, that can, uh, that can share experiences and that uh, they are looking for things that should be really happening in order to make new things on um, urban planning, on waste management, on mobility, on uh, city planning, as we think it should be. So how do you view the importance of unifying global efforts and perspective to achieve uh, smart city visions? Well, <clears throat> globalization is a fact and uh, something very nice that globalization is bringing is that we can learn from the experience from many people around the world. Mm -hmm. So today, this is Smart City Expo, Smart City Forum, we have it in Barcelona, we have it in Brazil, we have it in Argentina, we have it in China, we have it in um, United States, New York, and we have it in Riyadh. Mm -hmm. So that means that we are connecting all those cities so that all the cities can learn from each other. So um, Riyadh can explain a lot, of, a lot of projects that they are doing about, I don't know, water management, for example, for, for the people. And we have representatives from New York here who are listening to what Riyadh is doing. And Riyadh can also learn and listen to projects that have been done in Brazil or that have been done in the United States or have been done in Asia. So this interacting between cities is not also it's not only about explaining what the cities are doing, it's about sharing projects and sharing solutions. And then knowing, no, I, you know this thing about urban planning, this is how we made it in Brazil. And somebody here in Riyadh say, oh, that's interesting. Uh, and who did it? I did it with this company. So it's uh, learning from everybody and, um, and, and, and having a good profit from everybody experience. So uh, how will AI positively uh, impact the future uh, of smart cities? Well, I, we always say that the smart cities will be smart or, or, or the people will not be smarter. Yeah? Um, we are not talking about technology. We're talking about what the technology is doing for the people. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are many things that will become like uh, artificial intelligence that will put solutions just on the table. But there should be the administration of the cities, the people who are ruling the cities, always thinking, what do, do my people need to be done? Yeah. And thinking about what people needs 
are the, the, the really needs from those people, then looking for the right solutions to those projects. Uh, so it's not talking about being smart just because I want to be smart or talking about new technologies because I want to be more, more technolo technological than any other. It's really about thinking what solutions should I bring to the table? Yeah. And then these kind of forums uh, help a lot to find the right people that can provide these solutions. So, so what is the challenges that need solutions? Well, there are many other, many challenges which are the same for every for every city in the in, in the world, which mm. are mobility, for example, mm. or right urban planning or sustainability. Um, those are the, the the things that today in the 21st century are uh, the themes and the challenges which are the same for everybody. But then every city has a different uh, particular and personal challenge. Uh, yeah. Water management, for example. Where I come from, uh, it's a little bit like um, like in this part of the world. In the, so it's in, in, different in, between in, uh, city to city or uh, no, it's different. region to region. In region to region, for example, in my in my place today, water management in Barcelona is uh, is a challenge because it's not raining. So how okay. how can we put uh, technology smart solutions to the water management for the citizens? Uh, this is not a problem that they have in Brazil. It rains a lot, yeah. <laughs> so there is not a problem. But they have a problem there with uh, with uh, the inclusion of all the citizens in uh, in normal life. So um, there are common challenges for everybody. As, as, as I mentioned, mobility is one of them. Urban planning is another one. Uh, waste management is another one. Uh, sustainability is another one. But then every every um, city has a particular challenge that it's good to have these forums because someone is raising yeah. the hand and saying i have this kind of problem does someone has the experience on how it can be solved and and we are here to to share those solutions mr frank thank you so much for your time and we are so happy for having you here uh, with us thank you so much Thank you, our listeners, uh, for watching the episode of Mr. Ricard Zimitaru, the CEO of Fire Barcelona International Transformation. And see you in the next episode.